What if you were a scientist researching how to stop a pandemic caused by one of the world's deadliest viruses? And what if, to learn how to stop this virus, you first had to create it yourself? That's exactly the dilemma facing the virologist community researching H5N1, an experimentally developed avian flu strain transmittable to mammals and capable of killing half of those it infects. After Dutch virologist Ron Fouchier developed the H5N1 strain to help epidemics and bioterrorism officials prepare for disaster scenarios, research was halted in January 2012 at the urging of several governments, which feared accidental release of the engineered germs. Now, in a letter published to the journal Nature, more than 40 academics behind the research announced they will restart their work, arguing H5N1 continues to evolve in nature, and virus transmission studies are essential for pandemic preparedness. Though lifting the moratorium is a victory for scientific freedom, the scrutiny remains warranted given work that straddles the line between preventing a potentially cataclysmic natural outbreak and straight-up mad science. Now I know what it feels like to be gone.